Our customer service department needs work. We're not effectively reaching or supporting our customer base, and it's having a negative impact on the company's image, our team, and You need and to come up with line. a way to make improvements. We want, no, need loyal customers, and that requires exceptional customer service. <laughs> Ask your question. Everything is changing so fast. Our people, technologies, service models, even society is changing. We just can't seem to connect with our customers. And now I'm talking to a robot at the end of a pier. You wish to elevate the human experience? Yes. Service of the future will be defined by five themes, each important to master. Distributed complexity will become increasingly important. Imagine that as a customer walks through the door, your service manager is notified of their intent to return an item and receives their profile. A brief set of recommended questions will determine how to limit future returns and the next best product to offer the customer. Self-service will continue to grow. However, some of the most complex and important interactions could fall to service organizations. Responding to key moments for the customer can lead to customer loyalty. Personalized and proactive, the best way to make thoughtful connections. One of your telecommunications clients uses your company's machines, reporting information back to your data center. The data center learns common failure signs and dispatches technicians before a failure of the machinery. Customer downtime is minimized thanks to this proactive service. You may understand the customer's business, but you should also adapt your service to each customer's unique needs. Shifting from a reactive solution to a personalized and proactive one will help make the experience human. Ecosystems will become further interdependent. A patient locates an in-network hospital, but is unable to schedule an appointment. If that hospital has not moved to the connected cloud, then it cannot connect to the insurance company's scheduling and data record system. A call center, as the last linkage point for ecosystems yet to be connected, steps in to make the experience painless for the patient. How service is delivered is likely to change, and ecosystems need to be connected and integrated. All solution possibilities should be considered and appear seamless to the customer. An employer must be aware of what will draw employees to their organization. This student has the option to work at the store or online to provide service to multiple types of customers and the opportunity to train for different types of interactions. New skills to deliver and measure the success of service are required. Tech savviness and a human-centered mindset can be essential for employees as they should be able to multitask and support multiple types of interactions. Artificial intelligence omnipresence will be essential to support organizations. Picture an AI engine for a bank. It can assist a customer shopping for credit cards, connecting them with an agent. It can also assist the service agent, providing web data on the customer, suggesting offers for the agent to seal the deal, and analyzing speech patterns to estimate the probability of closure in real time. Artificial intelligence can become a core business requirement, but at what level? The answer, as always, lies in the needs of your customers and employees. I'll leave you with this. You must be able to adjust the size of these pillars of customer service. If you truly wish to elevate the human experience, your organization should begin establishing a foundation to grow. It's all so clear now. I'll use what I've learned. Thank you.